Okay then, I'm going to take you for a quick drive in the new Mercedes GLC. Now, I'm a big fan of this car. I think it fulfills its brief absolutely brilliantly. So this is the 250 and it's the AMG line. So it's got all the bells and whistles. Now the engine under the bonnet is a 2.1 litre diesel, which does make a bit of a racket when you accelerate, but when you're cruising, on the whole, this is a really nice, quiet car. The thing that I like most about it is just this interior. The design of this Mercedes interior is lovely. It's such a nice place to spend time. You do get a bit of a blind spot from these fat pillars there, a bit more than you would do in a BMW X3. Oh dear. Right, I was gonna go up there for a, to go on the handling circuit, but we're going to be doing that because it's shut. Mercedes brakes are clearly good enough. That's a good thing. One thing you do notice though is that while the brakes are good and the steering puts the car where you want it to, it doesn't have that same level of involvement that you get with a BMW X3 or a Range Rover Evoque. It more isolates you from the experience of driving, which actually for an SUV, you know, think how people use them driving around town or just horsing up and down the motorway, that's actually what you want. It's just very relaxing. Super quiet as well, this car. Really, really quiet. And like I said, the design is lovely. So this one has the big infotainment screen here. We've got the full-on Mercedes Command sat-nav system rather than the cheapo Garmin one you can get on certain Mercedes as an entry-level system. On the whole, it's all right to use. You use this touchpad here and you navigate using the wheel, but the position of some of it is a bit awkward to use. So yeah, it, it's okay but I just don't think it's as good as BMW's iDrive or Audi's MMI system. But I think the interior, like I said before, it's lovely. It's, it's nice with this twin sunroof here, so you get decent light here in the front and in the back. And it does, it just makes it just feel a bit more airy inside. And it is a spacious car, it's a comfy car. The suspension is judged perfectly. It rides nicely. And it goes around corners as well as anyone needs to in this kind of vehicle does feel a bit like a tank at times but it's got enough grip and really on the whole for how people are going to want to drive this kind of SUV it's nailed it it's totally nailed it it's just a really really nice desirable product that is very comfy and easy to live with now if you want more video content on this car just click in the top right hand corner of the screen on the card